All right, good afternoon. This is Nuke Marine. Uh, this is mainly for the reviewing the kanji viewers that uh, would like to uh, u utilize Anki in a way to where they can, if they're studying like subsets or S or adding vocabulary, and what they can do is then find out if, they've, if they added a quite a few new kanji they haven't studied in their RTK deck. This is how they can, so, not so simple, but at least I'll show the process and how you can quickly find those kanjis and then add it to your Anki deck or whatever, your uh, kanji deck. So let's uh, begin. So let's say right now we bring up decks. Uh, I've got a uh, an RTK Anki. That's my uh, that's my kanji deck, and then I've got this vocabulary deck. I know Japanese core. Uh, first thing you want to do: go to download uh, shared plugin, and there's a plugin called the Kanji JLPT Stats. Uh, I'm not quite sure where in here it is, uh, but JLPT plugin. I believe it was this one, where I can get the uh, stats for your JLPT. So get that plugin first. I've already got it, so. Next thing you want to do, go to plugins, as, uh, open plugin folders, and what you should see is this right here, Kanji JLP stats. So I'll be going back to that real quick. So what's the benefit of this? Well, first off, let's look. Uh, I'll open up my RTK Anki deck. So we bring this up, go to tools, Kanji stats scene. This tells you all the Kanji that you have at least reviewed once. So we open that up, we see 2,500. So look down here. JLPT levels, JLPT 103. If you do all of RTK or book one, you do all the JLPT kanji at least of the before the additional new Joyo kanji. And right now my deck 618 on JLPT kanjis. Okay, that's interesting. But what does that mean? Well, here's some other benefits. So let's open up this core deck. Okay, tools, kanji stats, scene. Okay, it goes through it. All right. Of these, I, there, in this deck, there are 1,471 unique kanji. Of those, it shows you how many of these in the JLPT level, 192. Okay, but some of these kanjis I've studied, in the other, and maybe some of them I haven't. How do I find out the difference? In other words, the kanji from here that I haven't studied in my kanji deck. Because it makes sense if, I'm, if it's a new word I'm studying, why don't I also practice the kanji? All right, so here's how I went about doing it. I opened up my kanji deck again. So... Uh, first things first is you can open this up tools stats kanji set scene okay come down here non JLPT so this was the first step you highlight all these bam 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 and copy so just do copy paste actually just copy it now next up remember that folder I showed you to bring up settings plugins open plugin folders so go to here, Kanji JLPT stats, edit it. I uh, usually edit it in Word Pro. So here's what you have. Now, there are two things you change. What I'm going to do is we're going to add a an extra thing to the JLPT portion of this. All right, so you scroll down. Right here is the change. Uh, you see right here, Kanji count one, two, three. What you're going to do is going to copy this line here and paste it. And that's what I've already done here. I've added a pound sign because that makes that line not count anymore. So I'm just going to take out this pound sign. So it should be this line here. Look, and the only thing you're changing is making this a 5. So you're just adding it so it sees that. Next thing, remember all those kanji you copied. Well, what you could have done, so what you do here, see right here, JLPT4321. I added, I copied this, the whole thing, got rid of all this kanji in this line and copied it down in this new line and I renamed it RTK only the comma you all that's the same uh, if you scroll across you'll see these are all these kanji so these are all the 600 something kanji that I have also studied on top of these JLPT kanji so added here next up I want to do is this I'll just exit that and so let me get rid of this pound sign so that's the equivalent of you going and doing the copy pasting and then adding all those kanji from uh, your RTK deck so I'll say save okay so I'm gonna take on I'm gonna take this close it out all right next I want to bring up uh, Anki again Okay, now let me look at it. RTK Anji. Edit or tools, kanji stat scene. Now look down here. RTK only. 618 of 618 site. These are all my new kanji that I've studied. 
in my deck that I've practiced doing the uh, stroke orders and whatnot. Okay, cool. So now my RTK deck is up to stat. So now I can keep track of what I've studied. All right, so now I'll go to, let me close this out and bring up my I know course. Now I look at how many, what new kanjis do I have? Kanji stat scene. Now look down here, 47 non-JLPT kanji. In other words, these are all the kanjis I've studied that are on top of the JLPT. These are ones I haven't seen at all. Okay, so I'll look at the non-JLPT. Here, let me go back from there. So I'll look, click on non-JLPT. All these come up. So all you got to do is copy and paste. Copy it. And when, go right here, paste it. Okay, this is not too difficult. Is just go down here, make it all in a. There's a reason reason for math. Make it all into a straight line. There's a method madness. Uh, reason being is we're gonna want to create this. Okay, why am I creating that? Cause we're gonna bring up. Uh, shrink this down. Because. Okay, I'm gonna go to my Japanese lessons. Uh, kanji onyomi. Right here, I'm gonna bring up my kankin levels. And when it comes up, it should bring up this spreadsheet. Okay, so this is my Konkin levels. Okay, benefit of here: if you go to Tools, Options. Okay, right here, believe it or not, is what I did is I added all the kanji from the Konkin levels. So that's all six thousand kanji. And it's in the order where I sorted by. Uh, Hazig order one through three thousand seven, and then after that the uh, J Dick order, uh, which I forget what. So and then I added, and just so it's a, I can get at least a Hazig number. If you look at the Hazig number at the near the bottom, okay, maybe I didn't save it. Um, okay, I'll go and change that later. But anyway, what I did is start at four thousand, at right here. What I'll do is I'll start at four thousand, and then. Go on down to 7,000. Just so I can get a hazy number. There's a reason for this. Okay, so we got that. Now what are we going to do is create a new one. Bring up this. Bring up all these kanji. Copy. Paste it into here. Unicode 8. Okay, there they are. Next we're going to sort it. Tools. I'm sorry. Data. Sort. We're going to sort by custom sort order. We're going to pick this line here. This is the uh, RTK line. Going to sort by here and click OK. Now this is all sorted here. OK, this is where it's, again, I'm just playing some games around. But I'm going to select all this. And what I'm going to do is make this a new sort order. So what that means is, I, what I do is I go in here, go to tools, and I add this as a sort order. I'll delete it later. Okay, I'm going to discard that. Why did the reason why I did that is now I can go in here, this right here, and sort, and give it a header column, custom sort order, add this line. This is the order of the, all these new kanji, the 47 new kanji, in the order of the Hazig numbers. Okay, so now I'm going to sort by the kanji. Okay, and there they are. These are all the new kanji. First ones, first groups is by Hazig number. And then what it would have been is these would have had additional numbers there. And all I would do is then take this spreadsheet, copy over and keep all the columns and import it back into my Anki deck. And save them as my RTK deck, uh, my kanji deck. And then start reviewing those one by one and then after that I go through that small process again pseudo complicated but you saw it's, once you got the idea it's not that difficult you're just uh, messing around with a couple of files doing some spreadsheet magic and the benefit is this I, if I go through an entire let's say I add 500 or a thousand words and I make some addition change make some kanji added I, I'm not having to go back and one by one adding to my Anki deck uh, what I like to do I like to do in a big group uh, just so it doesn't seem like I'm doing small battles, I'm winning bigger battles. Uh, but not so overwhelming that I'm adding 500, now I'm adding like maybe 10 or 20 new kanji that turned out to be new. Uh, and this way I'm adding it piecemeal. I'm not going to go through and do all 1,000 
uh, new kanji. That's just my opinion. Uh, hopefully you find it useful. If not, again, no problem. Learn how to use your spreadsheets, your Anki, play some tricks around, and just do what you, it's limited almost to your imagination of what you want to do with it. Uh, that's what I like about uh, anything. And then, of course, ask for advice. They may be able to tell you something else that um, I didn't bring up. All right, if there's any questions, post it in the, I'll post the link on the forums. Also post it on the uh, YouTube website. Thank you very much.